Je <laughs> 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 Wana kolali sa mobali na pongi makasi 
Colombola, mon pati, mon cocadina, mon bali, Sangani boko mi moto moko Ya moto sangani awa lelo Kembo haleluya osana Kolo This life, I still don't know where it's going. I don't know much, but I know I love you. And that may be all I need to know. Look at these eyes, they've never See what matters Look at these dreams So big and so better I don't know how much I don't know I love you And that may be all I need to know So many questions Still left unanswered So much I've never broken through
of Jenard and Judith. Great to see you all here today. And uh, I'm going to pray and then we're going to uh, get on with the service. Let's bow our heads in prayer, shall we? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the wonderful privilege of blessing this couple. We thank you, Lord, that you are in this house. We thank you that your presence is here. We thank you, Lord, that your love is here. We thank you, Lord, that you have words to say to us today. We thank you, Lord, that this can be a new beginning. And so we dedicate this day to you. We dedicate Jenard and Judith to you today. And we ask for your blessing to be upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to sing a hymn together. And uh, we're going to sing Amazing Grace. It's on your horns and services. So you want to take those and want to please. Spirit, 
is with us now in this waiting today. In creation. Man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage is given that husband and wife may support, comfort, and help each other throughout their lives, living faithfully together in times of need and in plenty, and in times of sorrow and joy. It is given that with tenderness they may know each other in love. It is also given that they may have children and be blessed in caring for them and bring them up in accordance with God's will to his praise and glory. In marriage, husband and wife belong to one another. And Jenna and Judith are building their new life together within the community. It is a way of life they have chosen to honour. They never took this decision carelessly, but responsibly after prayer and consideration. This exciting journey in life created by God is what Jenard and Judith have already embarked on. Although they are already legally married, today they will each give their consent to the other in the presence of God, and they will join hands, exchange vows, and as the symbol of his promise, will each give and receive rings. Therefore, on this special day, we pray with them that strengthened by God and guided by God, they may fill his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. Jenna, will you take Judy to be your wife? Will you love her? comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I work. Judy, will you take your love to be your husband? Will you love him? Comfort him? Honour and protect him? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both show it. Till death. Till death. 
us part. Us part. According to God's holy will. And this is my part. This is tricky. Heavenly Father, by our blessing, let these rings be to Gennard and Judith a symbol of unending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. With my body, with my body, I honor you. I honor you. All that I am, all that I am, I give to you. I give to you. And all that I have, and all that I have, I share with you. I share with you. Within the love of God, in which, with the love of God, Father, Son, Son, and Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit. Ring, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of my, uh, our marriage. With my body. With my body. I honor you. I honor you. All that I have, yeah. I give to you. I give to you. And all that I have, yeah. all that I, have I share with you. I share with you. Wow. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Yeah. Father, Amen. Son, Father. and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before these people, Gennard and Judith have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and exchanging of rings. I therefore confirm that they are husband and wife. Always hopes, always perseveres, 
love never fails. Amen. And then the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 3, that love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and good name in the sight of God and man. Amen. Let's give Jim Ireland Jews a big round of applause. Wonderful. Well, I just want to speak for a few moments today um, about a wedding that was in the Bible in John chapter 2, where Jesus turned up uh, for a wedding, and uh, they had a little bit of a predicament at the wedding. They ran out of wine. And the Bible tells us that Jesus performed a miracle, and he turned water into wine. And in John chapter 2 it says, this was the first of his miraculous signs that Jesus performed at Cana of Galilee. And he revealed his glory and his disciples put their trust in him. Here's the first record of Jesus having ever attended a wedding in the Bible. Now, we're not sure if he had ever attended a wedding before that, probably, but I'm almost sure that what happened in this wedding was definitely a new situation for him and a new situation for everyone standing. And it's at this point that we pick up the story. So I'll just get a little resume of the story before we proceed any further. The first miracle of Jesus took place at a wedding that was being held in a really small, insignificant town called Cana. Cana had no social prominence in its day. Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Jesus and the disciples had been invited to the wedding. You see, weddings were a big thing in Jewish culture, and from the exuberance in this place today, this looks like this is quite a big thing here for anyone who is Congolese or French speaking or whatever again. But in Jewish weddings there were certain protocols that had to be adhered to and one was that the wedding ceremony could not take place until after the party had taken place. So we do it the other way around. We have the ceremony first and then we have the party. No, no. Okay, in Bible times, the ceremony could not take place until the party had taken place. And the father of the bride would take his daughter on his arm and would parade her around the streets of the village so everyone could congratulate the bride. And finally, the wedding party would arrive at the home of the groom and in the front door of the house, the actual wedding took place. So it wouldn't be like we're doing right now. Okay, what would have happened is we would have gone to the doors of the church and between the street and the, and, and the doors of the house, that's exactly where the wedding would have taken place. And it was not a short ceremony. I mean, we're in here for about three quarters of an hour. This ceremony lasted days. It went on and on and on. You imagine a preacher like myself preaching for five days non-stop you don't be falling asleep, okay? So that's what it was like there. Then when the ceremony was done, they would parade the streets again with people carrying torches and there'd be wild music going off and it would be a very exciting time. Now here is the really exciting thing about a wedding in Jesus' day. When they had their wedding, they would have what we call an open house uh, for at least a week. And for a week, guests could come and guests could go and day. And while the open house was going on, the groom's family were expected to pick up the tab for all of the refreshments and make sure all of the refreshments did not run out. And so in this story that I'm telling you about from John 2, the host discovers that they're running out of wine. And they had more guests than they had, had anticipated. And to run out of drink was considered an absolute disgrace. In fact, in Bible times, uh, the host could be sued for a breach of hospitality if they ran out of drink. Can you imagine that? I mean, they didn't have enough money to buy more wine, and maybe the shops were shut, and Jesus is informed by his mother, son, 
We've got a big problem here. We need your help at this wedding. Now the fact that Mary even comes to Jesus with such a problem demonstrates that they knew that Jesus was interested in everyday things, everyday life, challenges, difficulties, problems in life that we all face. They knew Jesus was interested in that. And this is the amazing thing. We know that the Bible tells us that before this, Jesus had never performed a miracle because one verse in verse 11 says this was the first of the miracles he performed. But somehow they intuitively knew he could do something at this wedding. Let me tell you the truth this afternoon. There is something in the human heart, your heart and my heart, that like at this wedding acknowledges that God can do something for us. It is so because we're made in the image of God and we have his imprint on us and when we get into his presence, something stirs because we intuitively know he is what life is all about. Sometimes it takes us time for it to fill the food. Sometimes God has to take us a hard way to get us to see it. But once that stirring takes place, we find ourselves like Mary at this wedding, going to Jesus and saying, Jesus, help me. You know, a lady I know, she told me that uh, she never ever sought after God, thought about God, ever in her life. But she said, the moment I heard the name Jesus, I knew he was the answer. Mm -hmm. You know, some time ago we wrote a history, uh, a book on the history of this church. And one of the chapters of the book describes what happened in so many lives when people who had no church background, some of them, uh, or, 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 or went to another church, when, what happens to them when they came firstly into the presence of God? They often say something like this. It's like coming home. Why is it? Because we intuitively know we are children of God and that this God loves us even though we've run our own lives for years, even though we've turned our back on him for years, even though we choose our own ways and sometimes make holiest methods of our lives. When those people, when they got into the presence of God, something stirred in their heart and spirit and they began to cry out like Mary at this wedding saying, Lord, help us. We're in a terrible situation. Whoever you are this afternoon, let me tell you, there is a void, there's a space, there's a vacuum in every human heart and it can manifest itself with emptiness, with an ache, with an unsettled feeling, a sense there's more to life than this, a sense that you're always on a quest for something bigger and greater in your life. And because people struggle to find a solution, they try and cram this space with all sorts of things, money and work and family and relationships and holidays and houses and stuff. And you know, it will not matter what you fill that space with. If it is not filled with what it was made to be filled with, you will never know what it feels like to say, I'm coming home. Seriously injured in a car crash in the United States of America. Had the same injuries that Princess Diana had in that time in, in Paris that killed her. Exactly the same injuries, okay? And we all prayed, and uh, let me tell you, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks later, Jason Alexander was out of the hospital and was walking home. Folks, we believe in miracles today. And we've seen a real miracle here this afternoon. Let me tell you. Jen Arden and Judith are walking miracles. Amen. Yeah. And we come from a war-torn African country. We we're able to stand with them today. And that's a miracle <coughs> in itself. These insignificant people, in one sense. Jesus says, I'm working with Jen Arden and Judith, all of their challenges of getting married. But in getting married with praying people around them, they're wanting this to be the first day. But the wife, uh, our pastor preached on Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your heart. And you know, we live by that verse all of our lives. And let me tell you, God has guided us every day of our married life. And we've been married 37 years, so it's not been well for us. Today, they want, they want to understand the miracle of God's presence. God's presence is here today. It says in Psalm 23, When the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. 
He leads me through still waters. Even though I may go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. What is, what's going on there? He's saying, Lord, I treasure the miracle of your presence. And let me tell you today, I believe God's going to put the miracle of God's presence. And this is going to be the first day of the miracle of God's power. You know, God's got everything for you to live a great life today. 2 Peter 1 3 says, His divine power has given us everything that we need for life. So I think this is a miracle today. I think what's going on today is an absolute miracle. And we should give thanks to God for His blessing upon Him, Gennard and Judy. And thanks be to God for the future they're going to have. We're going to stand together right now. We're going to pray. And my wife is going to pray. Christine, we've been married 37 years. It all works for us. It all works for you. Let's pray. And we actually stood right at this spot when we got married. You know, I chose Amazing Grace for us to sing at the beginning because I think God's Amazing Grace Amen. has been on both of your lives. And it was particularly the fourth verse, and I want to read it to you again before I pray. The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Lord Jesus, I commit to you now, Gennard and Judy. I thank you that until this day they have known your guiding hand and your amazing grace. And now once again we commit them to your grace. We pray your blessing into every single day of their marriage. We pray your blessing over each one of their children. And we pray, Lord, in many years to come, they will look back on this yes. day and realise that a miracle took place as you began the new guidance of their lives. Bless them every day of the future of their lives, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, I present to you Jenard and Trudy.
bombe anatomique Petit tango asa mystique Mon gongo mélodique Ya ye nyoso angélique Bombe anatomique mm, J'ai bien dit anatomique mm, Pon aboui polémique Gaïla yembi dominique Hey, oyo nzoto Loko la mounzoto Petit atonda bomoto Riscapé ya mondandoto 1 m 73 Aye bikuta à l'aise La tie la ye mwa ba dièse Tuye koli na doublaise Bato ba panza lo kotro Nuyo ya ba likro Pa kale ele katro Na bukango na mikro Eh 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 bien Ye deux fois au tali Au koli na boli Wana ou bandi pekato Kolu la mwa si ya bato La 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 Tango pour Dominique Bombe anatomique De son prénom Dominique Ma charme ya Martinique Mais exemple et royaux unique Bombe anatomique Na l'olengue magnétique Ah si le singa est logique Et bien la comme fanatique Ah 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 ou yon charme Et ça lui comme hérité palme Démarche na yé calme Ou l'an dit ou tangi si larme Gango esco ça lui ange Ni passaya son ange Bote bonté et ça lui mélange Nan kolona tindi louange Bounzenga vextra terrestre Ou ambrouye na ba ministre Koutou ba masta orchestre Palo bioka angi registre Ye 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 bien Soki oti eka Ye ba opi kaka Oh du moli ben samni Meke ba na galomni La 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 Nyeshtu kantaro tango Dime o coração La 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 O yoka no nampondo Popo sone a kutale La 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 Estou cantar o tango Por ti meu amor La 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 René Kala la 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 beauté atomique de ma bombe anatomique m'a inspiré ce tango pour Dominique. Je ne t'en veux pas, oh 
oh ma belle, pour cette pomme de l'Eden Que tu m'avais donné, que nous avions mangé ensemble, toi et moi Je ne t'en veux pas, oh ma belle, pour cette pomme de l'Eden Que tu m'avais donné, que nous avions mangé ensemble, toi et moi C'est tout, hein? Oh, on souhaitait pas maman, la journée de l'eau, de l'eau. Oui, on souhaitait que les gens continuer les et j'ai dit, en tout cas, les qui m'a là, nous avons besoin de ça là. Tout ce pays, nous avons besoin de tout le monde, de toute l'église. 
Est-ce que tout ça, on a ça, en tout cas, c'est bien. Conseil nous repère ça, on a un temps où il y a passé, on a un temps où il y a passé, on a un temps où il y 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 a mais le cas, si tu récites déjà, tu as aussi le tapon, ce petit cali avec Dieu, par le long. Je dis que les gens ma journée, ils ont bu vraiment, qui tombent au moment où on a évité. Ils ont fait un make-up. C'est vraiment un bon sabbat. Il y a un bon sabbat. Mais le bras, tu n'as pas été. Il y a un peu de commun et de pénalité. Mais il y a un peu de l'oukal, il y a un peu de l'oukal. 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 Non, non, du matin, a changé, il est tiré, il est tiré. En tout cas, vraiment, I love. Vraiment, le lot est allé journée il y a Essengo parce que Bana Oyo a été volonté en Zam de Katna Bomo et Nabango. En tant que chrétien, tu as dit que le mariage est allé institution divine créée par Dieu lui-même. Alors, Bana Oyo a été aussi marche selon le conseil de la Zaïgi Kodjoy Panabiso. 
balandi yango ba respecte yango et voilà aujourd'hui c'est le jour J pour bango ba sali mariage na bango Bible de total ça biso que ils ont la force et ils ont la intelligence, mais ils ont par mon esprit, ils ont la Vraiment, le journal est là, ils très content. Ils sont très content de la bande, ils sont très content de l'organisation, ils sont très content de la bande, ils sont très participer, ils sont très contents. Mais c'est le Kimalamou devant le Seigneur et devant le peuple de Dieu. Donc, ils ont béni le bango vraiment de tout mon cœur. Voilà où nous avons dit que nous avons dit que vraiment conseil nga na opesa bango donc journal lelo ba mona ngo ya livre journée na bango vraiment ya liboso ya mariage devant les seigneurs po tango li pamboli e e koi na kati ya église na misu ya ba témoin ezay na ne part mususu na kati ya life na bango ndenge pasteur a otay ko lo ba sema mate ya nai na ko senga na bango ke donc ba persévérer le sou na kati kati ya nzela ya nzambe Libala na bango bati kwa ono maboko ya nzambe Nyo sotwe kuyo kwe la bango Mika katano nyo sotwe kuyo kwe la bango Mbaye bako tali sa mbo bele pa ya nzambe And yeah, I do. I just want to say congratulations. Today has been a beautiful day. Like it's, it's been amazing. I love it. Um, I just want to say, may God bless you guys. It's been a wonderful day, and lo God loves you and continue. Like He should continue to bless your life. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so glad that you're in my life. I'm so glad I got to have such a wonderful people like you. So let God pull whatever He's put together. Let it be forever and ever. Let no man in earth destroy I just want to say I love you guys and congratulations my name is divine I am one I papa Jenna na mama Judith so I'm 20 and I'm one of bango the oldest one so I just want to say I love you guys I'm so proud of you I love you guys that today it was an amazing day I'm just and I think you know my cassie was out you know mama papa and them are together you know, oh, in Samba Sali, in Takamulate, so I love you guys and let you guys stay together forever and peace you.
Merci, 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 Mingi. Merci, Mingi. Tu peux te faire beaucoup de merci pour la vie sur mon corps. Amen. Mais ainsi que yo, quand y a des fois la volonté de monter, à quel endroit on va? Y a quand on est single, il y a mais la personne qui est seule, na est single. Amen. Bon, on peut s'en aller, mais le coup de monter ne se arrête pas. Please. Yesu azali awa, Yesu azali awa, Yesu azali awa, Nabiso ya solo, Yesu azali awa, Yesu azali awa, Yesu azali awa, Nabiso ya solo, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, na Yesu, Yesu elunga nanga, Alleluia, 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 na Yesu, ekiti sango ya na yo, kiti sango ya na yo, kiti sango ya na yo nesiko, e ya sole. Kiti sango ya na yo, kiti sango ya na yo, kiti sango ya na yo. Tu m'as dit que tu as agi comme la vie, l'eau te relie entre tes saintes mains, et tu as la lavé, purifié par le sang de Jésus. Fais réjouissance entre tes saintes mains. Tu m'as dit que tu sanctifies nous par le sang de Jésus. Nous sommes en train de toujours autorité au nom de Jésus. Tu m'as dit que tu chassais, que tu déroges, que tu as dans le lieu de la vie, que tu as dans le lieu de la vie. Na komo na Yesu. E tobe ni kembo gloire na yo kose manifeste kipisa wako za ni zambe. Na komo na Yesu. Amen. Merci nza wako mula mula. Que Dieu vous bénisse, Papa Mathias. Je veux dire, 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 I've always wanted to say, but I felt like today's the great day. It's going to be the best day for me to say right now. <laughs> to my beautiful parent, every time I look at you guys, you make me happy. Even though I'm down, even though I'm sad, whatever I'm going through, you guys always encourage me and keep me going. Even whatever I want to do in life, you guys always give me, the, give me the opportunity and you always encourage me and doing good things in life. We've been through ups and downs, like through hell, but you guys have always been there for me. I just want to say I love you guys so much. I just hope God bless you guys forever. I'll continue to bless you. I just want like the people to know you and to see how good people you are. You, you guys are such, you're such a lovely people. You're wonderful, you have a, such a good heart. Like, I'm so glad I'm, in, I'm part of this family. I'm so glad that I can call you a mom and dad. You guys are so great. You always support me through hell. You always have my back. Every time I need you guys, I, can, oh, I know that I can always come to you and rely on you for anything, because you guys are such a great person. People might not see you, but I know who you are in and that inside. That I, I know you through like your heart. I know that you're a great person. I know that you're a beautiful woman. It's like, you're the most beautiful woman out there that I've ever met in my life. You're so beautiful, you're great. So you should, you, and you, you gave birth to such a lovely kid. And when I look at you, that I just see, I just look up to you because you always keep the family together. Even though the family's falling apart, you're always there to keep us together. You always have our back, even though we've got ups and downs, arguments and stuff. You're always there to keep the family and stand up for the family. Even though my grandma's, my granddad is not here, I wish she can be here so he can see you for such a good man you've become. He gave birth to such a lovely son and I wish he's looking down on you, he's proud of you. And He's proud of this family, and to my mom as well. Like Chantal, she's not—I don't know where she is, but I'm so glad that I love you guys so much. I'm so glad that I have you as my family. I can call myself Matondo. I'm so glad to be a part of Matondo. I love you guys so much. May God bless you. De la famille Matondo, et elle aime beaucoup sa maman Julie, son papa. Euh, Génard, ils sont merveilleux, ils ont toujours été là pour la supporter, la soutenir et ils ont tout fait pour qu'elle soit ce qu'elle est aujourd'hui. Donc, euh, elle aime bien ses parents.
Okay, okay. 